G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I have a super exciting video. It is how to connect your MLM2 Pro to GS Pro. I will be doing a full in-depth how-to video following up on this. However, this video, I'm just gonna go through and show you the steps once you've got everything downloaded and just to show you how easy it is to get going. I will caveat this by saying, I have an Android phone and I was using the Android application, um, EasyCast, and for some reason I couldn't get it working, I will be digging into that further and trying to get it working. But in the meantime, I wanted to do some testing between iPad and iPhone to see if it made a difference. I have got an iPhone now, and so what I can show you guys is how to connect up using an iPhone. So that's what we're gonna go through today. Okay, so what you are gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want, leave a link in the description, you wanna to go to GitHub and you wanna download this connector. So it's at the latest download is version 1.0. Um, and all you've got to do is follow the steps. And all I did was follow the steps with the iPhone and it worked perfectly. Android, like I said, it's going to take a little bit of um, uh, work or a little bit of time just for me to understand how that EasyCast works and to get it to run in the background. I ran into some issues. I will be digging deeper into that and we'll hopefully get it working. But today we'll go through how to do this on iPhone. So this is exclusively for iPhone and Android. Now, the iPad, it's not gonna work on the iPad. I run my MLM2 Pro from my iPad and I couldn't, the application or the way this is set up, it's not gonna work with an iPad. It has to be an iPhone or an Android phone. So to do this, all you gotta do is follow these steps. You're gonna to need to get the screen mirroring app. So with the iPhone, you're gonna to wanna to download the AirPlay app from the Windows Store. All of this is written up really well. So to do that, you're gonna to go to your Windows Store, you're gonna to wanna to get AirPlay screen mirroring. Now, this does cost money, so it's not free, um, but I've downloaded the free trial, I know it works, so I will be purchasing that later because this is working. It's a one-off payment. So once you've done that, um, you're gonna want to go and get um, the MLM2 Pro app. It, it, it goes through everything. You want the RPT golf balls. So then scroll down to where it says steps. Download the zip from the V1, unzip it and open the settings, the .json file. So if you click on that, it'll take you through where you have to download everything. So we'll do that now. It's gonna take you through, you wanna click on this connector just there where it says uh, GSP MLM2 Pro connector. So click on that, download it, and then extract everything from that file. Once you do that, you'll have a file that looks like this. It'll have the settings with the .json file. It'll have the MLM2 Pro connector v1. The .json file, we'll open that up. We'll run that in a notepad. So what this file is, is basically gonna be the settings for this connector. So if you're using it through iOS, you wanna have AirPlay because it's using the AirPlay application. If you're running this through Android, you wanna gonna copy and paste EasyCast into um, the brackets just there. So with the metrics, just leave it as it is. If you wanna change it to metric or imperial, do that within GS Pro. So just leave that as is. So once it says AirPlay, you can just file and save and then cross out of that file. Cool, so we've got that downloaded, we've extracted the contents. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is open the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro phone app and connect your launch monitor and then go to the Rapsodo range. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I've got the Rapsodo app open and then I'm just gonna turn on my MLM2 Pro and then I'm simply just gonna follow the prompts, connect to MLM2 Pro and connect up. I will say you wanna do this through your Wi-Fi. So you want a Wi-Fi connection because to use the screen mirroring app, you're gonna to wanna to have your phone on the same Wi-Fi. So we'll simply follow the bouncing ball. We'll connect this and then we'll get back to the video. Okay, connection successful. So from that screen, I'm simply gonna go start a session and then I'm gonna navigate, like it says, to the Rapsodo range. You do wanna do the exact same. You wanna go net RPT ball, choose that. Okay, we are now in the Rapsodo range. And then it says, once you're in the range, you want to click on the little arrow next to ball speed on the right hand side to show all metrics. So what it's talking about is this arrow just next to ball speed. So you wanna tap on that and that'll expand it out so you can see all of your metrics. 
that's an important step because the screen mirroring is going to read the metrics off that screen. So we've done that. Okay, next it says mirror your phone screen to the AirPlay or EasyCast Windows application, depending on which, if you've got an iPhone or you've got an Android. So, so to do that, you want to swipe down and you want to click on this uh, image there where it has the two um, little rectangles over each other. So we'll tap that. And then we're just going to tap uh, PC AirPlay. Okay, we've tapped that. And now if we open the AirPlay application, it'll have our mirrored screen. Okay, the next step you want to do is you want to resize this window. Um, it'll probably look something like this when you open it. You want to drag and hold from the corner, which I've learned, and you want to resize that to where there's no black borders. And then from there, you can literally minimize that window. Okay, step six, yep, adjust the uh, screen size so there's no black borders, we've done that. And there is an example image that you can click on as well. Minimize the AirPlay EasyCast application, that's important. It is important because if you don't do that, it'll crash the whole application. Open GS Pro and GS Pro Connect API window. So we'll do that now, so we'll minimize this We'll click on GS Pro. And if you're gonna buy GS Pro specifically for this, make sure you get the open API. So when you purchase it, you use the drop down menu, you wanna select open API. Okay, I'll open it for the purpose of this just in a windowed view, that's fine. And the reason I'll open it in a windowed view is so I can show you the other applications that run along with it. And we'll just wait for GS Pro to open. And like I said, this is the open API um, pop-up window that you'll get. Okay, from there, open API, go to range or local match. So we'll jump in to the practice range. We'll go to the driving range. And then from there, it says run the MLM2 Pro Connect V1 application as administrator. So we'll go into our folder. We'll click on this. MLM2 Pro Connector V1, and we'll right click, and we'll run as administrator. Uh, we'll go yes. Cool, and then that's gonna pop up with the application. And now it says, press enter after you've hit your first shot. So, I'll put my phone down, and again, you're gonna use your RPT balls. So, I'll hit a shot. And I'll wait for the phone. So it is all, the data's all going to my phone now. Okay, the data's finished. Then I'm gonna come over to my computer. I'm gonna push enter. And we have our shot in GS Pro. And you can now minimize this window. You've got all your information there on the open API. You can launch advanced um, and it'll show you all the metrics in there. But what we'll do is we'll now minimize this and we'll make GS Pro full screen by pushing F11. And we'll just hit a few shots. Okay, <laughs> you are still potentially gonna get disconnects. I've just had a disconnect. The good thing is with this, once you have that all set up, you can just go to your phone, you can push try reconnect. And in this case, it hasn't reconnected. So I'm just gonna connect up again and everything else in the background should be saved. So as soon as you get your connection back, you can just go back to the Rapsodo range and keep hitting shots. Okay, we've had connection successful. We'll start a session. We'll resume our session. It'll jump back in. And we can keep hitting shots. Another cool thing about this is because you're using the Rapsodo app, it's actually gonna save all your data within the application. So then you can review it after the fact, and you're also gonna get your videos. So if that's important to you, make sure you select the right club on the Rapsodo app. Within the GS Pro world, it doesn't matter. You can select any club. Okay, let's hit another pitch shot. Now there will be a very slight delay in this. It's not gonna be instant. And that's because the application is using um, the EasyCast or the, or the AirPlay to actually take a picture of that information and send it through to GS Pro. So it's not gonna be instantaneous. The ball's not gonna take off as soon as you hit it. But in saying that, there's not much of a lag between when you hit the ball and the ball taking off. But 
the good thing is we are playing GS Pro with the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. Now that was a bit of a misread. I hit a little pitch shot and it went 176 yards. So, you know, there are gonna potentially be some bugs in this, but um, it's been pretty good so far and that's the only misread I've seen. And there we go, 80 yards, which is perfect. Okay, let's hit a couple of seven irons. Bit out to the right. But, I mean, this is really cool. We are literally playing GS Pro with the MLM2 Pro. I'll do a little fade here just to show you the, um, the ball flight works. Not the best strike, but it will be fading. And the cool thing about this is now you're gonna have calculated spin axis, which is, I mean, this is what a lot of people wanted straight off the bat. They wanted the MLM2 Pro to be connected to GS Pro. We now have that. Um, and we've got Rowan to thank for that. And to be honest, I think Rapsodo, I mean, they should have been all over this connection. And I feel like, you know, someone like Rowan has done this off his own back. He's got this working. And I feel like a lot of units now are gonna be sold because of this. So Rapsodo is gonna benefit from this. So, you know, it, it's, um, so I almost feel like Rowan should benefit from this as well because he's the one that got this all working. All right, we'll hit a draw now with our seven iron. Nice little draw. And this is really cool to see. All right, let's finish with a drive. I'm definitely not warmed up at all, but we'll hit a shot. And again, everything's working. I mean, really cool to see. All right, guys, that is the new connector that finally connects the Rapsoda MLM2 Pro with GS Pro. This is a game changer. Big shout out to Rowan, like I said. If you want to give him a bit of thanks, I'll link something in the description so you can give him a little bit of a donation for his time. Please take the time to do that if you are going to use this, because like I said, Rapsoda is going to benefit from this they are gonna sell a lot of units because of this connection. So if we can give back a bit to Rowan and help him out, it's definitely gonna make the community stronger. And that's also that also goes for Matt as well, who made the R10 connector. If you've used that connector, if you are using that connector, it's a fantastic connector. So maybe help out Matt as well with a bit of a donation. All right, guys, if you enjoyed that, let me know. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.